Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you my new Fendangle 12 volt system. Right, let me just spin that around. Right, so this is what I was using previously, right? So this is a, an all-in-one uh, battery system. So it's got solar controller, uh, an 80 amp lithium ion battery inside it, uh, USB outs, um, a very small inverter, which really is only used for you know charging laptops and it's designed for camping or you know short trips away that sort of thing you know you can put it in your car whatever um but i've found out why it's um it's used now so um yeah it's time, it was time to upgrade uh so this is what i've upgraded to so here you see two 130 amp hour lead carbon batteries connected in parallel um, you'll see they haven't been properly secured in yet. I've still got to work on that as part of the boat safety. Um, I've got to make sure they're secured and covered and all, all, all the rest of it. Um, so that's the batteries. Uh, directly above that, I've got a 2.5 kilowatt pure sine wave inverter with a peak of 5 kilowatts. So more than enough power for my needs on the boat. Uh, probably overkill actually, but I'd say it's probably best to have more, too much and not enough. That means that I can run all sorts of appliances, power tools, I've even got an electric kettle, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's it. And it's really efficient too. Um, runs at something like 96 or 97% efficiency, so I just leave the inverter on now. Uh, directly above that is my solar controller. So let me just cycle through the right. So the PV is currently bringing about 17 volts uh, and about 18 amps. Now probably a cloud just passing over by because that was up at around 22 amps a short while ago. Um, so, but the interesting thing about MPPT technology um, is what it does. Um, it finds the sweet spots in your solar cells and then extracts that extra energy and puts it into your battery. So even though the PV might say one figure, the battery figure will actually be a lot higher because it's extracting that, it's finding those sweet spots on your panels and extracting that extra energy and putting it into your batteries. So you can see that it's, uh, so we've got 13.1 volts. Look at that, 22, 23 amps. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty impressive, I think, in, in <laughs> anyone's terms, don't you think? Um, right next door to that, I've got um, a seven-stage, fully automatic, 20-amp battery charger. Uh, I'm a little bit pissed off the design, actually, because normally you'd expect wires to come out of things like this at the bottom. This one comes out of the top. So I've got my 240-volt coming in there, which I plug into my portable generator. And then I've got the wires coming up top. Now, I've learned that it's important to make sure uh, that you match the cables for whatever current you uh, are wanting to take or want to, uh, want to draw. So this is rated at 20 amps. These cables, I think, are rated at about 30 amps. Uh, and you've also got to make sure that um, the distance between your various components is as short as possible, particularly from the batteries to the inverter and also from the battery charger to the to the battery themselves, just to ensure that um, you minimise current loss. Up in the corner there, <clears throat> we've got a couple of, we've got these isolation switches. So I've got four of them. There's one for each component on the system. So that's a 30 amp one for the, the PV, the solar. So in the event that I either want to do some extra work on a particular part of the system or there's a short, these will automatically trip. Um, or I can shut them off simply by pressing that little red button there and that will shut off the, shut off the circuit. Uh, directly beneath that, I've got another one, which is a 130, sorry, 150 amp um, switch, which is for the inverter. Up here, I've got another one, 30 amp for the, um, the panel, the 12 volt panel, which I'm about to show you. And just down there underneath, behind the batteries is one for the batteries, a switch for the batteries. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I've uh, plugged in, you know, a power strip, power board, and I've run another cable up and around. So I've got 240 volt here at the galley. 
And as you can see, I've got electric kettle, which I'm still working out <laughs> trying to use because I'm so used to using this um, uh, alcohol stove for boiling my water. So I'm still getting used to having electricity enough to be able to use an electric kettle. Right next to it is my Nutribullet, which I absolutely love. Um, it's great for doing juices. It's right about 700 watts, but of course you're only using it for a short, short burst. So it doesn't really use that much energy, just, you know, high amounts in very short bursts, but that's brilliant. I'm so glad I've got that back. Um, now down here to the panel. <clears throat> uh, so here I've got a 12 volt, 12 volt out, which means I can run any kind of 12 volt appliance off the tow path, such as my new, uh, my new shower that I showed you the other day. Um, that's the voltmeter, so it's showing 13.2 amps, which I'm still learning the relationship between volts and current, you know, volts and amps, but generally speaking, that means that the, the batteries are being charged. So as you can see from the, um, the solar controller, I'm bringing in about 22 amps at the moment. Next door to that is a couple of USB outs and directly beneath are my switches. Now I've only got two of these connected at the moment. The first one is for a cabin light, which I've rigged up for the setup part here of the boat, which is the darkest part of the boat. And then next to it, that used to be the switch to turn on my fridge, which I will, I've actually got rid of the fridge and replaced it with a cool box. And I'll share the reasons why in a moment. Moving around to the back. So here we have a lovely spaghetti <laughs> of wires. Right, so when you get your panel, you only get two wires, one positive, one negative. So you, you basically plug the, the, uh, the positive wire into your load there. Um, but to save a, a whole more of a spaghetti mess of wires, you install one of these. This is called a negative bus bar. So you run your negative lead from uh, your panel into that. Sorry, from your load into that and then run the negative into your panel there, but you also run your negative. So all these terminals are negative. So you run your negative wires from whatever device you have connected, um, connected to your positive. So you've got your, so these are the positives. These are rated, these have got 15 amp fuses inside. Uh, so just kick up your device and away you go. So that's the panel. As you can see, I've been <laughs> learning how to crimp and all that kind of stuff. It's been a real big learning curve, let me tell you. <clears throat> now, down here is my cool box. Now, I did have a dual-powered absorption fridge here before, um, but I've actually swapped it out now for this cool box, which actually does a, a much better job. The absorption fridge, I'm told, um, is a sort of a passive cooling system. Um, and very inefficient. It used around seven amps, which is quite a lot, I think. This little device, um, I bought this from Halfords. It wasn't very expensive, but it does a brilliant job. Uh, and it only uses three and a half amps. So there you go, that's inside it. So I've got milk, cheese, yogurt, tonic water, beer, you know, all the necessities I'm gonna need over the summer. So it just means now that I can travel further a distance without having to go to the shops so 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 often um but this has been fantastic and th the strange thing about this little unit though is it's currently actually running off the inverter um because it has an eco mode in and there's a little switch behind there that you can sort of turn it down and put it into eco mode when it's running off the 12 volt it stays you know that it runs at, a, at the same level all the time whereas you really plug it into the inverter, you can run it into eco mode, um, saving even more power. But it does a brilliant job, it's active, um, and it makes, you know, it gets beer cold really quickly, which is exactly what we need for summer. Uh, oh, and I actually prefer this, because when I had the fridge here, I used to be, have to crouch down on my knees and poke around, open the fridge, poke around inside to try and find things and organize things. With the cool box, I can just simply pull it out, open the lid, and get what I need to get out. Or put in. Oh, gotta push that back in. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> um, and there you have it. 
I've obviously got a fan. I bought this little fan, low wattage fan, because last summer I absolutely boiled. Um, so now I can run things, you know, to make my life just a little bit nicer um, when I'm cruising around. Uh, you know, so I'm living a little bit more on the boat rather than just surviving. Um, so there you have it, folks. Um, any questions on that, please don't hesitate to sing out below. Um, just before I go, though, I would like to extend a very big special thank you to Charlie, my mate Charlie from Texas. He designed the whole system for me, and I will try and find a way of putting the, the diagram either in the vlog or on the website or something so you can see, um, you know, see what he's done. And we've been video chatting every other day to, you know, he's been helping me, he's been showing me how to... Uh, crimp and solder and he's taught me how to read a voltmeter and all sorts of stuff and also install the whole system so thank you Charlie you're an absolute legend uh, thanks for all your help um, and now I just go in and enjoy it and it's all a bit of an experiment though so <clears throat> um, learning about how solar works and the relationship between volts and amps and yeah, but it's given me a really, really good introduction into 12 volts. Um, so when the time comes and I want to do anything more, or I need to do something to my narrowboat whenever I get it, um, I'll have a much better understanding of how it all works. So, um, but yeah, thanks again to Charlie. And like I said, any questions, sing up below and I'll endeavor to answer them. Or Charlie will, because he's the, he's the expert in all this. So, um, but yeah. But thanks for watching. Hope you got a lot out of that. And uh, we'll catch up with you all again soon. See ya.